especially with the emerging black fluency being you know, African American history and culture. And we just recently launched um, last summer our Facebook page. And so we are, I guess, entering the social media world now, but we don't want to kind of do it too rapidly. Um, and so I just wanted to know what your um, feedback and opinions are on just how social media has to be catered depending on what type of organization you are. Well, I think for, um, for organizations such as yours, which have their have very focused audiences that you can go to, what I call affinity audiences, that social media is actually a fabulous platform. Um, we represent um, something called the National World War II Museum in New Orleans, which is a, just a phenomenal uh, attraction. But it has a very specific group of people who are interested in it. And we have really built um, their attendance and philanthropy um, through social media. We, we, get a, we get a lot of regular attention uh, because Tom Hanks, for example, is one of our benefactors. And so, uh, you know, I, you've all read about the World War II Museum, even if you don't know you have, because Tom's been, the, the Toms, Tom Brokaw and Tom Hanks, have, have been our faces for, for this museum. And, you know, they just, uh, Tom just did the Pacific and they announced it down in New Orleans. and museum was a recipient of all that press so it's been it's been actually easy or fun for us to get a lot of great press for this museum traditional press but the social media aspect of it has been phenomenal so and you could actually look at that and see what what makes sense for you in terms of mirroring the kinds of things that they've done because we know who the constituency is we did research uh, everybody was sort of surprised to find out who wasn't interested in the World War II Museum and who was, or in World War II itself. And then we, we, we talk very directly to those audiences um, via social media with a very sophisticated program that has been extraordinarily successful. I would, I would also add to that too, I mean, um, if you're going to jump into social media, I agree with Sandy, the museum is a great platform. We, we represent the Babe Ruth Museum, the Sports Legends Museum. And they kind of were a little scared up, up until you know, <coughs> today about you know how much do we want to get into the whole Facebook and Twitter thing, and we are going to take it all over and you know have some fun with it. I would encourage you get a flip cam, you know show some stuff off in the museum, you know, uh, you know have have fun. I, it's a, it's an amazing building, and I think it's it's a little too well kept a secret. But I think social media will really give you a platform to show it off. I think I can't, I've got to imagine if when you're ready to jump in, you'll be able to build up a lot of fans and a lot of followers and all those other. John words. brings up a, a, a really important tool, and that is the flip camera. I can't begin to tell you the value, and I sort of, I mean, I've known about them, but I don't really know how to use it. My kids gave me one about <laughs> two years ago for my birthday, but I have, I'll tell you how I learned how valuable a tool this flip cam is. We were out in Las Vegas in February, and uh, HGTV was doing 13 episodes from World Market Center. So I'm waiting for everybody to come with all their cameras, because I know there's a producer, and a this, and a that, and the next thing I know, there's a person there with a flip cam. And they use the flip, the, their flip cam has high enough definition, and is Crazy. good enough, that you can put it online. So all their webisodes, all the HGTV online webisodes are shot not with a camera, but with a, a little flip cam like this, which said to me, oh my God, we can do this for everybody. So now we look like little heroes. We're going around doing yep. this video stuff for our clients. We're putting it online. Exactly. It's, it's truly amazing. Did you, what did you do your, he has a, John has a well, tour. I never. We actually did the tour with, with oh, that camera. With but, that. but the flip cams are amazing. They're, they're 150 bucks. They're HD, the quality's unbelievable. You can't edit them to the extent that you can other stuff, but you can edit them a little bit. And you know, last night we did a, uh, BJ Serhoff, the old Oriole player, runs a foundation for autism. And we did a little <coughs> fundraising event at Padonia Station, and you know, we just brought the flip cam, talked to BJ, talked to some families, and we'll put it up uh, on, their, on their website today. And it, it really makes a big, a big impact, these little flip cams. And, and, it's changed everything. And the other thing I'll, I'll say too is, 
I don't know if you guys do this, but we, we, we have a Maroon PR Facebook, become a fan. We have a Maroon PR Facebook page, we have a Maroon PR Twitter, and it's less about our company, but it's just another platform to celebrate things that our clients are doing. So, you know, we really put up things, whether it's, you know, Ripken stuff or, the, or the, our nonprofits or promote an event that's coming up or a 5K run that we run. So um, there's a lot of opportunities out there, but I, I'm going off track here. The flip cams are just fabulous. I'm we, sure you we, guys I believe the exact same experience. Yeah. We, we promote, um, this year we'll be doing 24 consumer shows um, around the country. Someone from our office goes to every show with the Avis card, the, the Hilton Honors <laughs> number, and the camera, <laughs> right? And and they walk around taking video. We um, less interviews, but just crowd shots and the experience. I have no idea how we're going to use all this video, but we will. Yeah. We've got Facebook pages. We're going to link. We're going to put it on their websites. Um, the discussion we had yesterday was about um, someone suggested that it's time to update our camera because he wants one. Um, we can mount it on a tripod and with an external mic. And my response is, that's not exactly what we're doing. We don't, we're not doing um, I don't produced, know what, produced right. stuff. You know, we can splice what we need together, but it's supposed to look a little raw and a little informal. Right. Yeah. Um, but I mean, you've got a flip cam. I had to carry a digital camera everywhere. You know, the craft show this weekend, I stopped by for an hour, and I've got like 140 pictures of just yeah. stuff that it's there. We're creating a library because... You drop them on Flickr or whatever. Yeah. There's so many cool things you can do. Right. Yes. Are there any types of clients that you feel shouldn't be on social media? I will, yes. Um, we had, I, I had a, a, a meeting last week with a government agency that brought us in because they wanted to be on social media. They're, they're, constituents are not on Twitter, or at least are not on Twitter talking about what they want to talk about. And they don't have a product that anybody cares about on Facebook. So we walked away from the work because that was the premise of the conversation. And yeah, I mean, I could do it and take the money and assign somebody to it. It's not a good decision. I mean, Sandy talked a while ago about the strategic decisions. It's not a good strategic decision for them to be that public with this program that they were launching. Cool example. Yeah, you do have to make sure that the client's audience uses these device, you know, these tools, and if they don't, they shouldn't be there. And well, I'll say there might be some, you know, that that one social media platform is good for, and another isn't. So, like we work with a, a law firm in Howard County. Well. They shouldn't be on Twitter. What are they going to tweet about? And they got to be really careful about what they post. But we do have a Facebook page because you know they can chime in on a big legal decision. They can talk about new trends in the legal world. They can talk about all the charity work because they do a lot of that sort of thing. Um, so the Facebook is a little uh, less of a sense of urgency, a little less newsy, and you can have a little more of a celebration of them as people. You know a law firm and their people. So sometimes it's one platform's good, the other not so much. But there is a place for password protected in Trondheim, right? Where if your, your clients just want to share things within a very tight circle. The internet. Yes, yeah. right. Which is just the opposite of social media. Right? Correct. Anti-social media. But would you have thought of suggesting something like that to them as um, internal communications? Probably, probably if that's where the conversation went. I mean, the, the I, I was invited to come and talk about doing their social media right. sites. Um, 